Hey fellow classmates and YouTubers, um, it's Kayla C, not Kayla B, Kayla C. Um, my project is isobutane propane, and that is my element, and I am here to talk about it. Uh, well, for starters, my element, uh, isobutane propane, is found in, uh, hairspray. Uh, spray paint, refrigerators, which is pretty odd, and does the shaving cream have anything? And shaving cream, and etc. It is very flammable, and it's used to keep things cool or to set things on fire, so be careful with that. Take caution, because isobutane propane may cause flash fire and fire. Uh, so, technically, I just got this off of YouTube. I was going to light propane on fire, but then I don't have time, so... Instead, I actually got a video of an accident caused by propane and fire. This isn't supposed to be like making a mockery out of what the heck happened over there, but, you know, I just added fun music to it, so, hope you enjoy the small, uh, 10, 11 second video, yeah. yeah. Baby, you're a So here's the moral, moral people. Don't light propane on fire. Be careful. My element is apparently used as a refrigerant, a refrigerant, whatever that word is, and it's actually extremely cold. My element is cold. The formula for my chemical is C4H1. The product that contains my chemical are under pressure, so don't puncture it. I'd, I'd hate to see you guys puncture the can. It, it, it'd probably explode, or, like, not explode, like, like, you, you get my meaning. It is hazardous to children, and just keep it away from small children who don't know any better, and spray it everywhere, and then... Light matches, and then it's gonna catch on fire. When you're when you're using hairspray or shaving cream, don't spray it near the eye. I really couldn't find how to dispose isobutane propane, but to dispose propane tanks, which is pretty similar, technically you just uh, give it to a propane su supplier or a salvage yard, whatever that means. I think you could just, I honestly really don't know. It doesn't really tell me. Well, for the extra credit, the names of the products in my house that contains isobutane for paint would be spray paint, which is in a garage. I think I might have it, I'm not sure. I might have it. Um, hairspray, which you guys saw earlier, shaving cream, and I obviously have a refrigerator downstairs. Should we ban my product compound thingy? Well, yes and no. Well, it's extremely flammable and dangerous, and many fires are probably basically caused by that. And no, because no, because. If we ban it, then we it, we need it for refrigerators and hairspray and shaving cream. But it it is pretty dangerous, yeah.